worked with, closely with President Bush um, to define his domestic policy as compassionate conservatism. And I think that's where we lost our way because where I got that from, he was being interviewed by a reporter once and the reporter said to him, um, you know, how do you describe your philosophy? And he said, well, I'm a conservative. And the reporters actually said, you don't sound like a conservative. When you talk about immigration, when you talk about education, when you talk about young single moms, when you talk about Hispanics, you don't sound like a conservative. And the president said, call me a conservative with a heart. The philosophy should. It's, it's always hard to do a second act in politics, and you don't want to hearken back to something that was so associated, I don't think, with one particular individual. But the notion behind compassionate conservatism was that a conservative philosophy was hopeful and optimistic. And Republicans have to get back to that. We, we have to be the party of, of opportunity and of hope and of a future. We stand for things that are at the core of sort of the American ethos, which is growth, opportunity, taking risk. The Republican Party needs to refocus its efforts to connect with the American people. Um, we've spent a lot of time sort of thinking about policies, thinking about both debt reduction and the need for the country as a whole to make decisions that think about the future, prepare for the future. What we haven't done is made sure that those policies connect to the kitchen tables of ordinary Americans. One thing that we need to confront, and I believe that the, the civil rights issue of the 21st century is the power of an education. And if we can't combat that soft bigotry of low expectations that people of color can't compete equally because they're poor, because they're black, because they look this way, then we've already lost. Let's make sure that all of our kids can compete regardless of the color of their skin or their gender. I think education is hugely key to the revitalization of the Republican Party. We have 30 Republican governors across the country right now who are doing a lot of innovation in their states in education. And education is the path to opportunity in this country. If we're going to be the party of opportunity, we have to improve our schools and have that path. And I, think, I can think of no more important issue for the future of the Republican Party. But education is the driver of the workforce and therefore the economy. I think what we need to think about is what is the American economy going to look like in the next 10 to 20 years? And are we preparing people to succeed in that economy? Education is the, is the civil rights issue of the 21st century. If you are putting children in schools that are failing year after year, that they're not able to read at grade level, they're not able to write, and they don't have a strong background in math and science, they can't compete. We somehow, you know, made gays believe we wanted to neuter them. We made Hispanics believe we wanted them to deport themselves. We made young girls in college think we were going to make it really hard for them to have sex. Well, guess what? That's not really a very good way to get anybody but old white men to vote for you. I think we have a bit of a message problem. I think, unfortunately, over the course of the 2012 campaign, we sounded unwelcoming not only to Hispanics, but also to all immigrants. I had friends who immigrated from Europe who felt like a little less welcome than, than I think they should be in the party. Unfortunately, some of our Republican men made horrible comments about rape. Um, I, I think personally that I, I want to you know, get rid of any, any Republican man who uh, ever again says anything about rape other than it's a horrific violent crime, which is what it is. And that hurt us with women. And so I think the, the, the negativity of our tone uh, is a problem. I don't think it's our philosophy. I think our policies and our philosophy are actually good and hopeful and optimistic. Politics is about addition rather than subtraction. We need to add more people who believe in our policies, our ideology, and our philosophy. So can we do a better job of communicating? Absolutely, but I don't think overall we have a big messaging problem.